everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another trends video. So if you guys are new to my channel, I tend to do these every season and I focus in on about eight or nine trends that are gonna be really wearable for the spring summer season and ones that really complement my wardrobe or it's something that I've already got that can be styled in a different way. So that's the whole idea of my trend videos. I want to show you guys the key wearable ones and ones that you've probably already got in your wardrobe. The key focus for me in these videos is to highlight the ones that are really wearable, ones that you already have in your wardrobe and you can just style it a different way. So even if this video inspires you to pick one or two trends that you wanna inject into your wardrobe or something that you've already got that you can style it in a different way, that's great. I don't wanna bombard you with loads of trends that you're not going to wear. I've really focused on the key wearable ones and they're in relation to my personal style so if you guys like my style or have a very similar style then I'm hoping that you're going to love these trends too. So as I've mentioned in my previous videos when I worked as a designer we used to go through all the catwalks, pull out all the trends and show these to our buyers so we used to go through every single trend depending on what department we were working on. So I used to work on casual wear so I'd focus on like bottom skirts, dresses, blouses. So that was kind of my niche. But today I've focused on the ones that are more to my style and that are going to complement my wardrobe. So what I'll do is I'll pop some inspiration from the catwalks on the screen and then I'll talk through the trends with you and also show you the pieces that I've bought or some of the older pieces that I'm going to be restyling this year. So I'm going to start with the first trend and that is relaxed denim. So specifically I've focused on relaxed jeans because this is something out of all the denim pieces that I'm gonna wear most. So I've already been wearing my relaxed jeans towards the end of winter, as you'll have seen on my previous videos, but there's no doubt denim has dominated the runways over the past few years, and this spring, summer, we're seeing denim in all forms in a relaxed way. So post lockdown, I've definitely found myself leaning more towards more relaxed silhouettes naturally anyway, especially with my denim pieces. And I like to buy these in a light to mid wash. So as you can see on the screen, the 90s denim silhouette is definitely here to stay. I won't be sporting the low waist look anytime soon. However, designers such as Tibby and Rock have kept the waistline nice and high, which I love. So the pair of jeans I've got here to emulate this look are the 90s relaxed jean from Abercrombie. So I've been wearing these so much recently towards the tail end of winter and I'm really excited to take them into spring summer. So I bought these ones in a really nice light wash denim just because I do like wearing light denim all year round but especially in the spring summer months. So I got these in a size 26. So the great thing about Abercrombie jeans is that they come in extra short, short, regular, long and extra long. So whether you're tall or petite, you're gonna be able to find the perfect size for you. So with sandals and trainers, you're gonna get that really relaxed feel. But if you team it with your heels as well, you've still got a really nice relaxed wide leg. So you can create many looks with these jeans and they're so comfy. I'm just all for the more relaxed silhouettes anyway. And especially when it comes to my denim. These are perfect. So Abercrombie have these in a few different washes if you prefer to wear something a little bit darker. It's entirely up to you and your style and what's gonna fit into your wardrobe. But for me, I went for the light wash. So the next trend is an accessory and something that I don't really focus a lot on on the catwalk, but you kind of can't miss it this year because earrings were definitely more prominent in the spring summer 23 catwalks. And there's been many maximalist styles, different sizes and lengths, but I've focused on the more wearable ones and ones that you can really take down from the maximalist catwalk look into more of your fine jewellery. So there's no doubt the hoop is here to stay and will always stay in my jewellery wardrobe. So we've seen a more maximalist version of this on the likes of Ulla Johnson. But by updating the styles with charms, this is a way to add a point of difference to your looks. I've got these bold small hoops and a mix of charms from Majuri. So these pieces are really made to last. They're made from 14 karat gold. They won't oxidize or discolor, so they're perfect for wearing every day. So the charms that I got are the single mini gemstones, the single paved diamond moon, the beaded hoop and the diamond and pearl charm. So these are perfect to dress up your hoops, whether you want to mix or match, or you can even add the smaller bold huggies that I'm wearing here today too. So all of these pieces are made from 14 karat gold and the diamonds are ethically sourced from their suppliers 
who follow conflict-free and socially responsible practices. And these are just a great way to kind of take those elements from the catwalk and make it more wearable every day. And you know me, I love my jewelry, I love their hoops, and this is just a really nice way to update them and make them a little bit different every day as well. So for instance, I've got the single mini gemstones here and I've got the pearl and diamond charm here too. So I could even add the moon in, I could have the beaded one in. It's just really nice to have these options and mix and match. So the next set I wanted to share with you are a mixed convertible link earring and these offer a layered look similar to the ones we've got here on the catwalks. So these are handcrafted in 18 karat gold vermeil and sterling silver and they're super versatile. They can be styled as single huggies, you can build them up to the drop earrings or for a true statement, you can even add on these mixed tube hoops for an evening look. Then you're creating that really layered look. This would look amazing if you had your hair slicked back and you had a really simple outfit on and you just let the earrings pop. Because we are seeing a lot more silver on the catwalks and I really love the mix of gold and silver together. So for the final pieces, I've got a real nod to the 90s with this staple chunky hoop. These are made from gold vermeil and definitely a statement hoop that I can't wait to style this spring summer. So I'll be styling all of these pieces throughout the video. So if you're a first time customer, you'll get 10% off if you shop through the links in my description box. So trend number three is the Mary Jane's Ballet Flat Hybrid. I really love the mix of these two. Obviously we've got Mary Jane's and Ballet Flats across all the catwalks, but for me, I prefer the kind of mix of the two because I'm not a big fan of the bows on the front of the ballet flats and I really like this square toe element of this mixed hybrid so this is definitely suited to me more if you are more of a ballet flat girl wearer or a Mary Jane then absolutely go for those but for me I really love the low heel and the minimal bar across the front of the foot so we've seen Mary Janes dominate the catwalk from the likes of Sandy Lang, Prada and Amelia Wickstead and the point of the shoe all come in different shapes but for me I really love the traditional square ballet flat style more so than the rounded toe so this is why I've gone for those. So I picked these ones up from John Lewis and as you can see they've got the more square toe at the front. They've got a really lovely gold buckle here and a slim strap across the front. So this hybrid just feels a little bit more modern for me and it's going to be a lot more wearable within my wardrobe too. I'm going to be able to style these with my jeans, my tailored trousers, my maxi skirts. So I'll show you a few different ways on how I plan to style these for spring summer. So on to trend number four and that is maxi dresses and maxi skirts. So so this is music to my ears being a petite girl. For years I've worn maxi dresses and most of my midi skirts tend to fall into that mid maxi length anyway but I'm really happy that there's a big focus on them this spring summer. So as we've seen on the catwalks from the likes of Burberry and Max Mara we've got those really lovely free flowing skirts in the more unconventional fabrics such as denim and cotton. So I do already have a few black maxi skirts but to update my spring summer wardrobe this year I have invested in the denim maxi. I wish I'd bought one of these sooner. I honestly love this. It's super high waisted. And another great thing about this is because it has a raw hem. If you are a lot shorter than me, you can always cut it down to size. I really like the wash of this as well. It's in a lovely mid wash and we've got a slit from the bottom to just above the knee. So I've recently been styling this with my knee high boots my white tee, my blazer and my coat as well if it's cold. But for spring, summer, I plan on wearing it with my blazer, my tee and my vest top and sandals too. I've always been a big fan of wearing maxi skirts, but for me, this denim update just adds a little modern touch to my wardrobe. And then for the maxi dress. So this one is from Dish and I got this last year and I blooming love it. I can't wait to wear it again. I wore it around the wedding as well. It comes in this lovely thick rib fabric, but it's perfect for spring. So I'm gonna be styling this on its own. I'm gonna be layering blazers on the top and it just fits like a glove. It's a stunning dress. So the next trend is cargo trousers. So they started their resurgence last year, but they're gonna be even bigger this year. So as we can see from the likes of Coperni, Versace and Jill Sander, they're coming back in these more neutral styles with a mix of satin and the true cargo pant as well. I can't quite get on board with the low waist and draw cord hems. I have however found a pair that's going to slot into my wardrobe perfectly 
and they're a lovely high-waisted wide leg. So these are from River Island and they come in this really lovely navy base with a pinstripe here. We've got the tab belt loops, a really minimal button and the plain patch pockets on either side of the leg. So I really love the minimal design of this. My style is very minimalist so these slot in perfectly. And they've got an elasticated waist at the back which is even better. So they're super comfy, really nice wide leg and these look great dressed down with your flats or trainers or dressed up with your sandals too. So they're definitely gonna be something I'll be wearing a lot this spring summer. So I'll show you how I'm gonna be styling these over the next few weeks and then how I'll take them into spring summer too. So onto the next trend and this is another accessory and this is oversized bags. Now I think I featured this in my last trends video or it could have been the year before. I'm not sure, but I'm always super happy when designers start to focus on those bigger sized bags because I always have them in my wardrobe and it's just great to get them out again for spring summer because I just love a fuss free bag and for spring summer this is especially perfect when you're carrying a lot more like your sunscreen, your water. So we've seen some gorgeous shapes and colours here from the likes of Peter Doe, Loewe and Maline Bierger. So I'm very happy they're here to stay and this is my go-to big bag. So this is my Pelen Cabas bag. This is an old style now but they have brought out some gorgeous new designs. They still have this kind of shape but it's just got a bit of a modern update and they do some gorgeous tote bag styles too so I'll link those below but Pelen is a brand for me that I just adore and I've had this for years now. I do use this all year round but this especially looks gorgeous in summer with a plain white dress and just this bag on its own and this tan tone really makes the outfit pop so yeah definitely going to be styling that again this year. On to trend number seven and that is soft suiting. So last year there was a clear 90s direction when it came to minimalism but the silhouettes are even cleaner this year and the colour palette is that much more muted and looks really expensive. So think shades of ecru, soft khaki, camel, beige, which is music to my ears because these are the tones that I have in my wardrobe. So we're seeing these soft silhouettes and tones from the likes of Meline Bierger, Regina Payo, Nilly Lowton and Max Mara. And the great thing about suits is that they're so adaptable with other pieces in your wardrobe as well. So they're really a true staple. You can mix and match your blazer with other pieces and your trouser with other pieces as well. And with them being muted tones as well, they're gonna be so much more adaptable to wear with black, to wear with cream and tan, and even pops of color if that's your style too. Really glad designers are embracing this simplicity within their designs. It's definitely something that's gonna stay in my wardrobe anyway. So I have actually got a set that isn't a suit, but it looks like a suit. So it's this blazer here and my cream wide legs that I always go on about in every video. And I just love this look. Knowing me, I'll probably invest in another color as well. But I've also got this set, which I'll put on the screen here from last year. And this is perfect for summer because then you're swapping out the blazer for the waistcoat. And it's in this really soft khaki, very similar to the Regina Pio one. So I'm excited to restyle that again. On to trend number eight, and this is something you're are definitely going to be able to embrace and that is back to black head to toe black summer looks so as you'll know from my summer videos that I embrace this anyway but when researching the catwalks there was more black outfits than ever and it's a great time to really embrace those spring summer textures so you can pair your blazers with satin dresses silk skirts and really fine knitwear as well. I'm also loving the real simple looks from Tiki and Max Mara with a simple bandeau or shirt teamed with a tailored or wide leg trouser. It's so simple, but super chic. So I'll share a few different looks on here as well. It's a great time for you to get your tailored trousers out, your linen trousers out, and your linen or satin shirts as well. And for the final trend, that is cropped utility jackets. So I've always loved the utility trends that come through, but this one is especially great for you petite girls out there like me. We've seen cropped utility jackets from the likes of Loewe, Scavino, Fendi and Coperni. 
and many of the designs are minimal with matching buttons or hardware, which I love. So I found this one from Cos, and it's the perfect addition to my wardrobe because I was really lacking something with a little bit of structure, a crop style, but still minimal. So this really ticks all the boxes for me, and it goes so nicely with all my high-waisted trousers, my jeans, and my maxi skirts too. So this is something you'll see me wearing a lot of this spring summer. So there we go guys, that was my nine trends for spring summer 23. I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it inspired you. It definitely made me delve back into my wardrobe and past memories wearing those cargo trousers when I was listening to the Spice Girls. It's actually been so nice to have quite a few nostalgic pieces come back. So I've really enjoyed styling those and talking through the pieces with you today as well. As always with my train videos, this is just a guide for me to tell you what's coming up and what I'm gonna be styling. So yeah, if you liked any of it, I will link everything below and I'll offer alternatives for any of the older pieces as well. It really made me excited for spring summer. So I hope it's inspired you as well. And yeah, let me know what you think and I'll see you all very, very soon.